Note, the following video depicts a specific configuration of the notebook. The same removal and replacement procedures apply to all configurations of the notebook. Before you begin, remove the bottom cover, battery, optical drive or optical drive dummy, hard disk drive assembly, or solid state drive, wireless WAN module, and wireless LAN module. Removal. Disconnect the display panel cable from its connector on the system board. Remove the seven six millimeter T8 Torx head screws that secure the top cover to the base enclosure. Remove the eight millimeter T8 Torx head screw that secures the top cover to the base enclosure. Remove the 3mm P1 Phillips head screw that secures the top cover to the base enclosure. Remove the two 3mm P1 Phillips head screws from the optical drive bay that secure the top cover to the base enclosure. Remove the two 1.5mm P1 Phillips head screws from the optical drive bay that secure the top cover to the base enclosure. Remove the two 5mm P1 Phillips head screws that secure the hinge covers to the base enclosure. Using minimal force, Lift the locking bar up on the audio board ZIF connector and disconnect the audio board ribbon cable from the system board. Caution: Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Turn the notebook over. Carefully remove the hinge covers from their position over the display panel hinges. Open the display panel. If the system board will be removed, complete the following steps. Remove the two 1.5mm P1 Phillips head screws that secure the system board to the top cover. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the power button board ZIF connector and disconnect the power button board ribbon cable from the system board. Caution! Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the fingerprint reader board ZIF connector and disconnect the fingerprint reader board ribbon cable from the system board. Caution! Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Disconnect the speaker cable from its connector on the system board. Using a non-marring, flat-bladed tool, carefully release the top cover from the base enclosure. Lift the top cover off of the base enclosure and remove. Replacement Note, before installing a new system board, remove the following from the old system board and install on the new system board. Memory boards, fan heatsink assembly, power button board, smart card reader board, touchpad button bracket, fingerprint reader board, RTC battery. Align and place the top cover onto the base enclosure. Press down on the edges of the top cover until it snaps into place.
If the system board was replaced, perform the following steps. Connect the speaker cable into its connector on the system board. Insert the fingerprint reader board ribbon cable into the fingerprint reader board ZIF connector on the system board and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. Caution! Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Insert the power button board ribbon cable into the power button board ZIF connector on the system board and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. Caution! Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Replace the two 1.5 mm P1 Phillips head screws that secure the system board to the top cover. Close the display panel. Place the hinge covers into position over the display panel hinges and apply pressure to secure them to the base enclosure. Turn the notebook over. Insert the audio board ribbon cable into the audio board ZIF connector on the system board and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. Caution! Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Replace the two 5mm P1 Phillips head screws that secure the hinge covers to the base enclosure. Replace the two 1.5 mm P1 Phillips head screws located in the optical drive bay that secure the top cover to the base enclosure. Replace the two 3 mm P1 Phillips head screws located in the optical drive bay that secure the top cover to the base enclosure. Replace the 3 mm P1 Phillips head screw that secures the top cover to the base enclosure. Replace the 8 mm T8 Torx head screw that secures the top cover to the base enclosure. Replace the 7 6 mm T8 Torx head screws that secure the top cover to the base enclosure. Connect the display panel cable into its connector on the system board.